Hey everyone, how are you doing today? It's me, David, coming to you from the Beatles Corner. We are collecting the Beatles 101. And we've got a new record in the mail. It's new to me. It's something I needed to kind of complete the collection on a certain Beatles album. So let us... Actually, I'm going to have to do this on my bar in the Whiskey Den area. So we're going to shift over there just so I have a, a place to open this up at. So meet me there. All right, so the only place I have here as a tabletop is my bar. And if you are a bourbon enthusiast, a whiskey connoisseur, um, check out my other YouTube channel, which is my Whiskey Den, here on YouTube. <laughs> so here I might just provide a link in at the end of the video. So there might be a link on my About Me page anyway here. So anyway... This album was originally released August the 5th of 1966. Um, it's probably my favorite of the Beatles albums. I bought this off of eBay. So let's just see um, how it is first packed. And nice thing, the, the seller wrapped it up in this uh, heavy plastic. And it feels like it's in a record mailer of some sort inside. So the... Uh, withstood the elements of our wintry weather that we have and yet it's in an ebay record box let's see what we got now something when i bought the record it was a good price but um the seller Apparently did not play test it. They he said um, check the photos for item condition, but you can't really check it on the computer. It didn't look like there was any issues with the record, but I do prefer to buy a record that's been play tested first. It saves headaches. Um, but with the eBay money back guarantee, you know you could return it if it does but he did say it was in good condition and all right so here it's in the box wrapped in <clears throat> some newspaper Let's throw that there and this is a came from okay wrapped in newspaper which really it should have been wrapped in bubble wrap let's see what we got Good to start, start a fire in the wood stove later. That newspaper. Um, well, obviously, it's Revolver. <laughs> it was the only Beatles album. Well, I shouldn't say it was. It was released August fifth of nineteen sixty six. This is a nineteen seventies two E A two E M I box. I did notice in the listing that. John's face has a little pen scribble. Maybe it's a price. Looks like it was, it says $7.99 or something like that. But it's the Garrett and Lofthouse uh, cover. Nice uh, laminated cover. Pretty glossy. I'll do a close up uh, video of this in this video. Original EMI inner sleeve not the way I would have packed this uh, when when I sell records what I do is I might just show you I have a, a clear plastic cover I take the record out of the inner sleeve original inner sleeve to preserve the integrity of the sleeve and then I'll show you <laughs> But let's see how the record looks. Looks like it's in decent shape. I'm going to play it. Two EMI box. I was hoping it's a Harry Moss Master. But I don't see his initials on here. I'm just looking. 
Y E X six o six two six o six o five dash two. So it's a uh, yeah the second mastering. So let's just see how it's. I'm gonna clean. We'll do the close up. I'll clean it, listen to it, and come back with my thoughts on this particular copy and how it sounds. State. Okay, here we go. It is a you know standard British revolver cover, and there's the pen mark there. It looks like it says seven ninety seven. There is no on this cover stereo or mono designation because at this point everything was stereo. But it's a really, I mean, the cover looks really good. Really nice quality. Let's look at the back cover real quick. Okay, so the front cover is nice and glossy. The back cover has a nice, you know, has a matte finish. So not laminated, I'm assuming. Let's see. PCS7009, Amatex Record Cleaner uh, ad on there, printed and made by Garrett and Lofthouse. But you know, the back cover still shows both catalog numbers, the mono and the stereo. Let's look at the, yeah, the inner sleeve will be interesting. Let's look at that. Okay, 1970s era, I believe. Um, inner sleeve. Take care of your record. The important notice on the bottom. The other side is blank. Some of the earlier inner sleeves that I have do have on the other side um, like other albums on Parlophone, on EMI. This one is blank. And let's look at the record. Okay, there's the record. To EMI box, and it's called that because you have here. Try to do that through the camera screen. Here and here are the EMI logos, so that makes it what's called a two EMI box. And I'm gonna clean it, listen to it, and let you know what I think. All right, so we're back. Figured I'd come back here to our bar top because I wanted to show you, first off, listen to it. I think it put the puppies to sleep because now the puppies are sleeping. <laughs> uh, sounds good, sounds really good. There was a little, um, sound like a little surface noise between the first two tracks on side one, Taxman and Ellen and Rigby, but nothing, nothing bad. Um, we've got, you know, I was still looking to see if there was the HTM on there, but not. Sounds really good. Re to me, the British version, the original, Brit this British version, pressed in Great Britain is probably the definitive sounding, purest sounding version of Revolver uh, because it's taken from the original master tapes, mastered directly from that. So there's that. Again, sounded really good, no complaints. I'll leave good feedback for the seller. Now, I wanted to show you what I do is, and this is how I ship records too. Um, I ship them on my other eBay account because record sales, I used to do really good selling records on eBay, but I think now with all the repressings and digital remasters, I think that's what people are kind of going for instead of looking for these vintage pressings, which is kind of a shame if you ask me. But what I do, regardless, I do sell a few here and there. So I take a this these heavyweight plastic outer sleeves. I put the record in there. And this is how I store them as well. Then I'll take the inner sleeve and I'll slip it here in the back like that. There we go. <laughs> and then I take 
these uh, these are like the mobile fidelity style inner sleeves mylar and then it's backed over here then i'll take the record slip it in there like so and i'll slip that in the back and for me i usually top load it in that meaning that i you know load it from the top self-explanatory but then i take the opening of the inner sleeve and i put it alongside like that so dust doesn't get in there so 19 i'd say 70s era pressing of revolver it's the second mastering that's the dash two on each side after the master number and it sounds good now this means i'm going to have to update <laughs> i have a video which version of revolver sounds best to me which means i'm at some point i might have to update that we shall see, but so far this is probably one of the best sounding versions of Revolver that I have. Um, you know, it's probably, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see if I ever redo it. So this is going to go into the, into the record collection shelf on the Beatles shelf and along with my other, like, however many copies of Revolver that I have, but I'm happy to have this. British version once again. I did have uh, have this pressing at one time. Stupid me. Sold it about 11 years ago on eBay because I thought I was doing an upgrade, but I wasn't. But there we go. Revolver. British version. Two, e I, two EMI box versions. So there you are. Uh, so until next time, it's me, David, coming to you. I should be in the Beatles corner saying this, but... I will catch you on the flip side. Happy collecting and thanks so much for watching.